welcome back. In this video, I pull the engine apart and finally figure out what's actually gone wrong with this engine. So I start taking off the cam cover and have a quick look. And the time and chain is still tension, looks good. The oil looks clean. The cam lobes have literally no wear on it. So the top of the head looks perfect, actually. I'm very surprised for a car that's done 100,000 Ks. So it looks like I need to take the head off, and to do that, I need to get this crank pulley off and front cover. And this bolt is tighter than a fish's backside, I tell you. And uh, I persist and persist, and in the end, I make up a plate, and I had to get a big lever on it, and then finally uh, put the rattle gun back on, and that bolt finally figured out I, I'm actually the boss around here. And then you can see that plate there, and then I got it out. And once that was out, uh, there is literally just enough room to remove this front cover. And everything on these smart cars is tight as. So anyway, I'll get the front cover out. And that allows me to take the timing chain off and take the timing guides out. And again, so far, it still all looks pretty good. So you need to take all this stuff off before you can get the head off. I'll take the head off, the head gasket's fine, and there's the problem. Number one piston, you can see some scoring there. It's a bit hard to see, but something has gone wrong with that piston. So what this means now is I need to take this whole block off of the gearbox, remove it completely, and pull it right down. So I've got this far, and the condition of this engine is so good that I'm going to just strip it right down and see what I'm up against. So persist long enough, I finally get this block out, lift it out, and then I take it outside and I keep pushing on uh, by removing uh, everything else that's left on this. So it's a cast, on, uh, cast aluminium sump, which is quite interesting. Uh, there's hardly any gaskets on this as well. It seems that Mercedes use sealant instead of gaskets, which, you know, maybe that is pretty smart after all. Um, so I take all these bolts out and uh, take the sump off. And again, once I get this sump off, it's still, the engine itself is looking pretty good. I take the clutch off, um, you know, more Torx bolts to, deals, to deal with, but no big deal if you've got a proper socket set. There's a bit of wear on that clutch. Uh, I take the flywheel off, and then to get the uh, pistons out, I need to take off this bottom um, crank plate. Now you can see here, they're not actually Torx bolts, so Mercedes must have thought by this stage that most people would have given up by now, so these are just normal bolts. That comes off. Take out this number one uh, piston. I'm actually surprised that the bearing looks amazing. There's literally nowhere on that bearing. So one thing I've noticed, the previous owner of this engine has really looked after this car, uh, except for this fault, and they didn't drive it too far, which was good. Now you can see this piston, this is finally getting to the core of the problem, and there it is there. Now you can see the pistons, the landing rings have failed, and I don't know what you call it in the US, but we would say that piston is pretty much cactus. Uh, there's a bore, I clean the aluminium off, and there's this little hole you can just see there, so I've done a bit of research, and I've found some spare parts, which I've got on order, so you can see by this that I'm going to rebuild this engine. So I've got new pistons coming, uh, new seal kit, um, a few other, new clutch and some other bits. And in the meantime, I'm just cleaning everything up. So I degrease the, the gearbox and the engine cradle just to get it nice and clean. And, you know, a bit of degreaser, a bit of a brush down, and um, get the jet blaster out. And, you know, it cleans up pretty good. Now, I don't need to go crazy with this at the end of the day it's going to be out in the paddocks ripping around when i'm finished with this so uh, i just want it to be tidy um so it cleans out pretty good so um after i jet blast this i take it back into the garage and just blow it down with air and um it's literally stripped down all i need to do now is wait for the parts to arrive i'll clean up all the engine bits in the meantime and in the next video, I'll rebuild the engine 
uh, put it back in, try to get it started, and then um, hopefully be in a position to go for a first test drive and see how it actually drives. Stay tuned.